Omaha Compression 61. Uh, several videos on this where we used a 365 Special piston. It's quite some bit taller than the original 61 piston, which is kind of weird because a lot of people take a 272 or 268 piston and put over in a 372. So, you know, that's just kind of weird, really, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'm sure it's just to do with the uh, 61 piston cylinder setup because I'm pretty sure all of these saws have the same stroke. Um, but anyway, with that said, um, old saw was really tired. Um, I got to dig it. When I pulled it down, it needed a piston. It was really loud. had a lot of piston slap, um, a lot of wear in the skirt area. I got to digging around. I had a couple old 365 pistons, and when I went wrist pin the crown height, the 365 piston was taller, so... We went that route. I sit here, I don't know, longer than I should have, I guess. But then again, I think it's paid off. But And uh, cut the squish band out by sanding. Um, I've shown how I do that. And, you know, I guess there's no right or wrong way to do anything. But it's probably not the best way to go about doing it. You're taking a risk of screwing up the cylinder. But uh, if you take your time, I've not had a problem with it on anything. But... Uh, with that said, we got that set up running. It ran dang strong, but the piston, you know, it still had a little more slap or rattle to it than I cared for. So um, I ordered me up a new piston. Uh, it was actually one of the Duke's Molly coated pistons. Um, funny thing about it was, though, it was a double thin ringed piston as to where the other one was a single thick ringed. So. I don't know, some pe we could have gave up some there and maybe not, but I don't know, how deal with parasitic drag or whatever, but uh, I don't know, it seems to act pretty dang good, but uh, we got that piston in, and one of you guys had mentioned maybe throwing a little more intake time on that, I left the exhaust roof where it was at, but what I done, um, is I took about an extra ten thousandths off of the bottom of the piston skirts. Um, they were quite some bit longer than the 61 piston. It was just a shorter piston, you know, from crown to skirt. Um, I done that, just took about an extra ten thou off of the intake side of the piston on the skirt. Um, so that should have given us another degree of... Uh, duration or two degrees of total duration you know it may help may not but it, i guess it was worth doing it does seem a little more responsive now but there's two other things i modified while i had it down um this is that mu two series muffler that originally has to pour it over here um, very very restrictive has a big flat baffle inside of it uh, originally, I'd just cut this port out over here and put this big deflector on it and uh, cut, you know, about the size of the exhaust port out of that baffle. Um, but when I went to checking it and blowing in with an air hose when I had it back off, which is really scientific, thing just still very, very restrictive. So what I done was probably cut 75% of that baffle out what I could by going in through the back um, and then we put a three quarter inch pipe in the front it's just a clear straight shot from this pipe to the open of the exhaust port but you know as you can tell she has a real nice pop to her um, and also I kind of got distracted <laughs> putting it back together and we'll just say that she got a new OEM trigger in it by now you should have seen a little bitty short video just showing how that goes in um, I didn't show completely taking it out and putting it back, but kind of showing the gist of how it goes in there. And uh, we got us a 272 carb on it. Um, so, you know, opening up the muffler and the carb, I guess, may have really woke it up. But uh, one other couple other things is it had the uh, metal flag on the chain brake cover. It just, I didn't care for it. I just took it off. Um, all the chain brake guts is out of it anyway and you may be able to tell what kind of route i'm going with this saw but uh i was on ebay hunting around for bars and we picked this up this is a 
it's a solid bar. It's not a laminated um, sprocket nose or movable nose. Um, so that is old stock Oregon. I don't even hit things probably from the late 70s, early 80s or something, or maybe about the era of this saw. I've got another one here kind of like it that's come with uh, an old home lot I bought, but uh, I'm waiting on my chain for that. Um, it is 16 inch. I've got a Oregon EXL chain coming for it. So uh, once we get that here, we'll be ready to do some cuts. Um, be cool if I could get it to match that 880, but I don't know what thing's a freaking monster and it ain't even really turned up, but uh, we'll get this out and get some break-in time on it. If chain ain't here tomorrow, I plan on going to the property Sunday if the weather ain't horrible. Um, I'll just bar it up with something else I got to take it out and put a little time on it and um, get the ring seated in good before we go to turning it up, but uh I can already tell just, uh, I guess, the carb and opening up the muffler just really, really woke it up a lot. Um, but with that said, um, thank you guys for watching. Y'all can look forward to this uh, thing tearing through some wood. If not, you know, it'll just be our test logs back here. But uh, as always, y'all have a good one.